Good evening, Stevens Point. I'm Lily Breitenfeld with SPTV News. In this week's news, a Slenderman stabber is released, a new candidate for the governor race, and a strange murder case near Stevens Point. All of this and more when we return. Starting off, Anissa Wire was released from a psychiatric hospital this past Monday after spending almost four years at the Winnebago Me Mental Health Institute in Oshkosh. Wire took part in the Slenderman stabbing case that happened in 2014. In March this past year, she requested a letter of release stating she had used all of the resources available to help her become a productive member of society. Wire expressed to the court that she will live with her father upon release and pursue a part-time job and hopes to attend university in the future. Her accomplice, Morgan Geyser, is currently serving her sentence of 40 years in a psychiatric hospital. Former Lieutenant Governor of Wisconsin, Rebecca Kleefish, has entered the race for governor of the 2022 Wisconsin election. She released a policy list during her announcement that she plans to hire 1,000 more police officers, harsher punishments for riot and mob incitement, and keeping schools open during the pandemic. Kleefish notes that with a Republican governor, the Wisconsin State Legislature will be able to pass bills without getting a veto from a Democratic governor. Current Governor Tony Evers has vetoed past bills from the Republican-led legislature that included limited abortion access, looser gun laws, and limiting absentee voting. Kleefish says that she has raised over $1.2 million for her campaign. Four people were found dead in the town of Sheridan, Wisconsin this past Sunday under mysterious circumstances. The Dunn County Emergency Services received a 911 call regarding a death. The sheriff's office confirmed that four people were found dead in a black SUV with a Minnesota license plate on private land and didn't seem to have any connection to the area. No more details have been given out as it is an ongoing investigation. Anybody with any knowledge about the incident are urged to contact the Dunn County Sheriff's Department at 715-232-1348. The University of Wisconsin Stevens Point has been ranked 14 among all public universities in the Midwest. The U.S. News and World Report has accredited the campus for its low student faculty ratio, affordable cost, and first year student retention. Chancellor Gibson commented on our ranking, stating that he's pleased with the placement and wants to remind students that UWSP provides a solid return on your education investment. That's all I have for news. Time for entertainment. Hey Pointers, I'm Ryan Kreff with SBTV Entertainment. The UWSP Planetarium will be opening up for the public again, offering three different shows starting September 12th. The Observatory Telescope will also be open Mondays through Thursdays from 8.30 to 10 p.m. starting September 13th. Seats will be first come, first serve. For more information, Finish, visit the Department of Physics and Astronomy page on the UWSP website. As fall is quickly approaching us, the city of Stevens Point will be hosting a fall festival this weekend at Piffner Park on September 17th through the 19th. Events will include a blubber run, Point's Toberfest, the annual woodcarver show and competition, art in the park, and more. We'll see you there. If you just can't get enough of the Wisconsin autumn season, there's another opportunity for you to enjoy it. The Granite Peak Ski Resort will be having its annual fall ski lift rides, which started September 10th and will be going until October 17th. If you are interested, you can go online to skigranitepark.com and you can purchase your tickets there. Campus Activities and Student Engagement are hosting a block party in the Parking Lot Z this upcoming Saturday to welcome everyone back to a new year. The party will go from 11 to 3 p.m. and will include games, food, and activities for students to do if their Saturday is open. And that's all for entertainment this week, but I'll pass it off to Will for SBTV Sports. What's up, Pointers? I'm Will Harrelson with all your UWSB sports updates. This past Saturday, the Pointers crushed Simpson College, scoring 34 to 7 points. Quarterback Max Hero threw two touchdown passes, and Versi and Granville rushed for 127 yards with 19 carries. 
we'll be seeing the pointers face off against UW Stout next Saturday on the 18th. Women's volleyball brought home a home win last Saturday, which now brings their streak to five wins. The Lady Pointers dominated Minnesota Morris with a final score of three sets to one. When they were falling behind in the third set, we have Megan Lau to thank for her six to one run. Lastly, the Pointer Cross Country team will be attending the invite over at Whitewater Campus this Saturday. Want to wish the few seniors on the men and women's team good luck on their last first race. That's all for Pointer Sports, but for more UWSB Sports, make sure you watch our Sports Hub. This has been Will Haraldson, and always, Roll Dogs. That's all the news we have for you at SPTV. I'm Lily Breitenfeld, and we will see you next week.